what's good, John? It's your boy Ross back in again with another video. So, the wrestling world has been shaking up. Apparently, Daniel Bryan signs with AEW. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is uh, quite shocking and definitely will change the wrestling world for a bit, man. This is interesting. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I. I I may, I may start getting back into AEW. I know you guys have been wanting me to check out some AEW. Granted, I wish I could do like some reactions and stuff on YouTube to AEW, but they're very strict and they will strike your channel. I don't know why they're so strict, but they will. So I probably have to do maybe some live streams, you know, kind of get back into the swing of things with AEW. But this is interesting. So we'll see what uh what has transpired uh we're gonna check out a wrestlemania video uh and uh we're gonna see what's going on in the wrestling world but right now daniel bryan signing with AEW. that's that's a major move that's a major major move so let's get into this now first we looks at the real reason why daniel bryan has signed with AEW and plans which have been leaked now, topping the news today, has Brian Danielson, aka WWE superstar Daniel Bryan, signed with AEW? Well, that is the hottest rumor going around in wrestling, as Bodyslam.net is reporting that one of pro wrestling's hottest free agents has signed with All Elite Wrestling. Wow. First, let's see what's been reported, then focus on when fans might expect Bryan and why he apparently chose AEW over the WWE. Now keep in mind that AEW has not confirmed that the leader of the S movement has signed, but okay. in this case, we're taking the where there's smoke, there's fire approach. In an exclusive report, Bodyslam.net's Cassidy Haynes revealed, in an update as to the future of Brian Danielson, formerly known as Daniel Bryan, a source I've spoken to has told me that he's locked in and 100% already signed a contract with AEW. Damn. Naturally, this is massive news as fans have yes. wondered what Danielson would do once his WWE contract expired. As many reported that he won't sign with AEW, he's just going to take time off to be a father. Obviously not. As previously reported, there were rumors that the WWE had taken the superstar out of plans for merchandise, as well as 2K's upcoming 2K22 video game. Damn. It appears AEW may be saving Danielson's debut for its big show in New York City this September. In another exclusive, Bodyslam.net's Cassidy Haynes revealed the plans. The plan is for Brian Danielson to make his AEW debut on September 22nd when AEW heads to Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York City. The plan was to hold off debuting Danielson until after all of their plans for All Out were wrapped up and to bring him in after the pay-per-view. However, with the news of CM Punk's potential AEW debut it may have caused plans to change. AEW is- hold on. They get CM Punk as well? I'm be honest with you. That's some that's some noticeable names, and recently, uh, one of you guys told me on the last stream that AEW reached like a million, you know, like a million viewers, like, you know, on one of their previous shows, and that's not bad, because WWE they're in that one million, like upper one million range. Like, I'm be honest with you, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan on the show as well. Yeah, man, this this could be problematic if WWE doesn't get it together booking wise, storyline wise, because it seems like from what people have told me, a you know, AEW is more streamlined. They can enjoy it more. You know what I'm saying? They still have their issues with AEW, but they 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 enjoy it more than WWE. And like I said, when I was watching it, you know, weekly, you know, when they first came out, I was enjoying it. it was something new, something fresh. I just kind of, you know, strayed away from them, not because the content was boring, because, I don't know, I just kind of strayed away from it and was kind of focusing on other things. But not going to lie to you, I'm a big CM Punk fan. I am a, a, a Daniel Bryan fan. I think this would be a nice move. I think this would be a very nice move for AEW. It's known for its long-term booking, where storylines have a clear-cut start, middle, and ending. But while plans can change due to injuries and other unexpected issues, the company tends to stick closely to its blueprint. If Danielson is signed already, AEW's plan to hold off on his debut until a time when it feels is the right moment is a reminder of the company's patience and confidence in its booking plans. So why did Daniel Bryan sign with AEW over the WWE? Well, the real reason comes from Bodyslam.net, who reported, In addition, I was told that Daniel... This is interesting, bro. This, this chain... 
WWE gonna have to come with it. They're gonna have to come with it, bro. You you can't you can't be coming out with subpar television trying to compete because AEW's there. They got some noticeable names and people may start tuning into them more. You feel me? So I don't know. This is this is gonna be very interesting. Less dates for comparable money. He wanted the ability to be able to work in Japan and wanted mm. to have creative input on his character, which he got. If the reports of Brian signing with AEW are true, and again, this is not being confirmed. And this is Dan this is Daniel Bryan to his core. He is a wrestler at heart. He wants to wrestle. He wants to put on a clinic. I know they will let him go in AEW. Like in the ring wise, I know they're gonna let him go. Oh, I can't wait. I can't. I can't wait, bro. Um, I'm it's not gonna lie to you guys. I may actually definitely start watching this off screen. You know, off YouTube more. For sure. I may want to start getting back into the swing of things now just to kind of get familiar with the characters that I haven't seen on AEW, the new characters and stuff, and, you know, new wrestling characters. So I may have to start getting into it, um, you know, more and more, you know, just so I can get a feel for things. But no, nah, I think this is pretty cool. To confirm the idea that New Japan Pro Wrestling has no plans of working with the WWE, there's no indication on how much Brian is making, but it sounds as if AEW made him an offer he can't refuse in terms of money, dates, and the ability to work in New Japan. That's While awesome. the wrestling world waits for confirmation of Brian's signing, the usually reliable WrestleVotes tweeted an interesting tidbit. Regarding the Daniel Bryan rumor, since I've got a ton of questions on it, I don't have any direct AEW contacts. However, I did ask my WWE contacts when's the last time Brian's name has been brought up within creative or even talked about. Months was the answer. Uh, so that's that. Mm. This would support the previously mentioned rumors that Daniel Bryan was not being included in WWE merchandise or 2K22. His signing along with the rumors of CM Punk negotiating with AEW stressed that Tony Khan has no intent of resting on his laurels. Naturally, questions of whether AEW is expanding its roster too much, and especially a light of recent reports the company is currently operating in the red, will continue, but the potential payoff in ratings and pay-per-views may make this a mute point. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to imagine Brian and or Punk not helping AEW reaching even greater heights, particularly yeah. as its third hour of cable television is ready to launch. Furthermore, if Brian and or Punk sign with oh, AEW... Oh, so they're going with a third hour. So apparently they're going to be pulling the... Uh the Monday Night Raw format. I mean, they do have a lot of talent, and it's only really technically kind of like one show. They don't have multiple brands. They're going with a third hour. This should be interesting. I don't know, man. Because three hours of wrestling is a lot weekly. You know what I'm saying? Two hours has always been a good format. So, But you also want to get as many talent on the show. This is, this is what helps with Raw and SmackDown because there's two different brands. You can see more people. But I don't know, man. This should, Man, I'm really interested in this. It's a reminder that AEW has become a viable alternative, not only for wrestling fans, but for wrestlers. What do you think of Daniel Bryan signing with AEW? Let us know in the comments down below. But will the rumored signing influence CM Punk? Or one of the most compelling questions coming out of his rumored signing is how it'll affect CM Punk's negotiations to return to wrestling. While the details of Punk talking about a return to the ring are vague, it's difficult to believe that Daniel Bryan's rumored contract with AEW isn't causing the WWE to press harder to get Punk back in the WWE. Does the WWE need Punk at this point? Probably not as it has plenty of superstars and legends on its roster. Nevertheless, Punk is a high value wrestler who the WWE may be willing to pay an exorbitant amount of money in right. order to keep him away from AEW. At the same time, Punk may let the WWE and AEW engage in a bidding war with every intention of going to AEW considering the straight edge superstar's negative experience with the WWE mm -hmm. at the end of his run with the company. Our fans will have to see what happens, but both Brian and Punk's free agent status has fans buzzing about what's next. It's hard to recall a time when the competition has been this hot for the promotions to sign top free agents. Next up, Samoa. That's awesome. I'm telling you, you get CM Punk. People are like, oh, CM Punk should, you know, he's going to, he should come back to WWE. No. It's going to, no. No. He should not come back to WWE. I'm going to be honest with you. The only time I would be, like, really, like, really f in, like, in the mindset of being really excited for CM Punk long term would if he, if he was to go to AEW. Because I'm, I'm willing to bet. They would treat him better. He would have full creative control. And I think it will work. 
because he, you know, ultimately he does care about the wrestling business. Vince, he's more about the money and what it can bring to the brand. You know what I'm saying? Not so much the wrestling. So if he was to go back to WWE, I think it would be more or less the same. You know what I'm saying? It would it, it would be hype. People would be hype. People would probably come back to watch WWE more, but I think it would be more or less the same over time. But with AEW, I think that really brings even more hype because he's in a whole new company. He's He'll be able to say and kind of move how he wants to move. I, I think it would just overall be better. So I'm not sure, man. This is this is just very interesting. I'm 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 kind of for Daniel Bryan and CM Punk going to AEW. I think that would just be well clearly it seems like Daniel Bryan's already there. But if CM Punk does come back to wrestling, I think he should go to AEW. Samoa Joe is cleared to wrestle. This is That's cool great too. news for Samoa Joe fans as Joe has been cleared to wrestle. Wrestling news is Paul Davis recently And I did see the segment where uh Samoa Joe was calling out Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross wouldn't come out. Karrion Cross ends up attacking William Regal. Like they're setting it up. They're gonna have a match, and I'm all for it. I'm all for it. He reported on a taping for next week's edition of NXT, saying during an in-ring segment, Joe told NXT General Manager William Regal that he would be resigning from his position as Regal's enforcer. Regal was about to fire Cross, but then agreed to Joe's request, and the contract was signed. Yes. This was, of course, the follow-up to the 20th July edition of NXT that saw Cross destroy William Regal backstage, mm -hmm. then flee from Joe. Now Joe will face Karrion Cross at NXT TakeOver 36, yes. currently scheduled for 22nd August, the night after SummerSlam. Oh Samoan Submission God. Machine has been on the shelf thanks to a concussion he suffered in 2020 during a- That match is going to be great, even though they have ruined Karrion Cross on the main roster. If there's anybody that can take the title off him, it's Samoa Joe. A commercial. Fans were curious when Joe White returned to the ring, only for the WWE to release him earlier this year before signing him up for NXT. The Joe vs. Cross match has been hinted at ever since Joe returned to the black and gold brand, oh, taking the job of William Regal's special enforcer. But this could be one of the biggest matches in NXT history, yes. as well as a way to write Karrion Cross off NXT mm -hmm. and send him to the main roster. But whilst we're on the subject of Karrion Cross, well, fans hijack his segment on NXT. Now, Bodyslam.net is reporting that the fans at the aforementioned NXT taping hijacked a segment featuring the NXT champion. According to Trent Osborne, Cross was showered with chants of Hardy from the moment oh, he entered. Oh no, this is why someone had made a comment like, oh, NXT is developmental. It, it, it's okay, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is that big of a deal because you're developing a character for the main roster for people to get invested in when you destroy that character's momentum who's going to care about carrying cross if they didn't know him from nxt they're like who is this guy he's the nxt champion doesn't seem much of a champion to me he just lost to hardy that cheated to win not to say hardy is a is a bad in-ring competitor but come on bro come on bro this is what happens when you do that. You do that type of booking. He took his first L. First L. Now people are chanting Hardy. Like, bro. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> WWE, man. Into the arena. The segment which saw the NXT champ cutting a promo on Samoa Joe before escaping the ring as Joe made a run-in was so taken over. Introducing oh speech God, bro. The most they natural have, sound. They have ruined Karrion Cross, bro. They just, oh, my goodness, bro chance that NXT had to reshoot the entire segment at the end of the night. Osborne went on to add that NXT they had to reshoot oh my god dog this is why you don't do that type of booking because there's just gonna be like hardy hardy like he beat you you're not that you're not that threatening anymore J Jeff Hardy beat you on Monday Night Raw. This is why I say, yeah, CM Punk, don't go back to WWE. No. When you got booking like that, no. No. Go go to AEW. NXT staff even had to trick fans into staying. They even lied to us and said something special was going to happen so we wouldn't leave. One source said, a crew member told me that the show wasn't over. We tried to leave. He told us there was a surprise. Now we don't know what's funnier, the fact that the fans dumped on Cross for his loss to Hardy, or the fact that WWE felt it had to reshoot a segment. Once again, this incident confirms that fans are gonna fan.
Next up, Velveteen Dream has been pulled from an indie show. Yeah. And a classic case of now you see him, now you don't, mm. former NXT superstar Velveteen Dream has apparently been pulled from an indie show. According to WrestleTalk, the promotion of superstars of wrestling tweeted Dream would be appearing at an upcoming show. SWF Wrestling and the Trifecta are happy to announce that formerly known as Velveteen Dream will be making his first wrestling appearance since his WWE departure live on September 11th at SWF Wrestling Home Sweet Home event at Tommy Rivers YMCA. Wrestling fans voiced their displeasure online, reminding the promotion of the past allegations made against Velveteen Dream Damn. during his time in the WWE. Just an hour later though, tonight we announced Velveteen Dream would be appearing at our home sweet home event. I believe any man can be slandered and having been through other situations in my life unrelated but untrue, after careful consideration, Dream Damn. has been removed. And finally, WWE running a Queen of the Ring tournament? Last but not least, even during its worst years, remember King Mabel, the WWE's King of the Ring See, I'm all for women getting, you know, their their spotlight and shine. Like, the, the women's money in the bank, I'm okay with that. But, I mean, obviously, the 2021 women's money in the bank was not good at all. I'm okay with the women's uh, a Royal Rumble. I'm okay with that. If it's going to lead to creating new stars, them having a queen of the ring, I don't think it's necessary, honestly, because I don't think they're going to create new stars. Hell, the king of the ring doesn't really create new stars. This is this is a gimmick that used to work, but now it doesn't. It doesn't. Remember King Baron Corbin? King Corbin? Where did I get him? That's why I'm like, there's no point in promoting a queen of the ring if you're not going to promote new stars, if it's not going to, it's not going to create new stars. Tournament has been a popular event with fans, and now it looks like the WWE's female superstars are about to get a tournament to crown the best of the best. According to a tweet from Wrestling Inc., Wrestling Inc. has learned that WWE will be doing a Queen of the Ring tournament this year. This. You may recall rumors that executives from USA Network and Fox asked the WWE to consider ways of increasing the ratings for both Raw and SmackDown with ideas including the return of the King of the Ring and Raw Roulette. A Queen of the Ring tournament could be a good way to give a singles push to someone from the WWE's women's undercard. Which I mean, that sounds good in theory, but like I said, the King of the Ring hasn't really been working, so I don't see the Queen of the Ring queen of the ring working as well i mean it could be and it could be something that maybe catapults someone's career on in the women's division but i just don't trust wwe booking at this point like i mean i trust them with certain characters but definitely not with the women's roster women's division which hasn't been promoted very well seriously we should now get queen morgan right who do you think should be queen this year let us know probably not gonna happen man but Yo, this video was definitely informative, definitely has me potentially uh, hyped for AEW and what may come uh, through the pipeline for them, man. So, yeah, you may get CM Punk, and it seems like Daniel Bryan is all but confirmed in AEW. So, this should really be interesting, and it may force WWE to get on their stuff and start producing better weekly content television because if not aew may start stealing some of their fans they have already and it may it may even get bigger so i'm not sure but this is this was a very dope very informative video shout out to wrestlemania make sure y'all go subscribe to him dude is very you know he, he's on point when it comes to his wrestling news and his wrestling takes so definitely go subscribe to him but comment down below let me know are you guys hyped about daniel bryan being signed to uh aew um unofficially unofficially and uh would you guys be interested in cm punk being in aew as well this is really with with these two acquisitions in aew would they have you watching aew more than uh wwe let me know i would like to get your thoughts and opinions on that man but appreciate all the love and support go to 50k appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace